Question 71.13. Questioner, then each entity is of a path that leads to one destination. This is like many, many roads that travel through many, many places but eventually merge into one large center. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct but somewhat wanting in depth of description. More applicable will be the thought that each entity contains within it all of the densities and subdensities of the octave so that in each entity, no matter whether its choices lead it, its great internal blueprint is one with all others. Thusly its experiences will fall into the patterns of the journey back to the original logos. This is done through free will but the materials from which choices can be made are one blueprint. Question 71.14 Questioner, you have made the statement that pure negativity acts as a gravity well pulling all into it. I was wondering first if pure positivity has precisely the same effect. Could you answer that please? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. Positivity has a much weaker effect due to the strong element of recognition of free will in any positivity approaching purity. Thus although the negatively oriented entity may find it difficult to polarize negatively in the midst of such resounding harmony it will not find it impossible. Upon the other hand, the negative polarization is one which does not accept the concept of the free will of other selves. Thusly in a social complex whose negativity approaches purity the pull upon other selves is constant. A positively oriented entity in such a situation would desire for other selves to have their free will and thusly would find itself removed from its ability to exercise its own free will, for the free will of negatively oriented entities is bent upon conquest. Question 71.15 Questioner, could you please comment on the accuracy of these statements? I am going to talk in general about the concept of magic and first define it as the ability to create changes in consciousness at will. Is this an acceptable definition? Answer, I am Ra. This definition is acceptable in that it places upon the adept the burden it shall bear. It may be better understood by referring back to an earlier query and your measurement within this working having to do with the unmanifested self. In magic one is working with one's unmanifested self in body, in mind, and in spirit, the mixture depending upon the nature of the working. These workings are facilitated by the enhancement of the activation of the indigo ray energy center. The indigo ray energy center is fed, as are all energy centers, by experience but far more than the others is fed by what we have called the disciplines of the personality. Question 71.16 Questioner, I will state that the objective of the white magical ritual is to create a change in consciousness of a group. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Not necessarily. It is possible for what you term white magic to be worked for the purpose of altering only the self or the place of working. This is done in the knowledge that to aid the self in polarization towards love and light is to aid the planetary vibration. Question 71.17. Questioner. The change in consciousness should result in a greater distortion towards service to others, towards unity with all, and towards knowing in order to serve. Is this correct? And are there any other desired results? Answer, I am Ra. These are commendable phrases. The heart of white magic is the experience of the joy of union with the Creator. This joy will of necessity radiate throughout the life experience of the positive adept. It is for this reason that sexual magic is not restricted solely to the negatively oriented polarizing adepts but when most carefully used has its place in high magic as it, when correctly pursued, joins body, mind and spirit with the one infinite creator. Any purpose which you may frame should, we suggest, take into consideration this basic union with the one infinite creator, for this union will result in service to others of necessity. Question 71.18. Questioner, there are, shall I say, certain rules of white magic. I will read these few and I would like you to comment on the philosophical content or basis of these and add to this list any of importance that I have neglected. First, a special place of working preferably constructed by the practitioners. Second, a special signal or key such as a ring to summon the magical personality. Third, special clothing worn only for the workings. Fourth, a specific time of day. Fifth, a series of ritual sound vibratory complexes designed to create the desired mental distortion. Sixth, 
a group objective for each session. Could you comment on this list please? Answer, I am Ra. To comment upon this list is to play the mechanic which views the instruments of the orchestra and adjusts and tunes the instruments. You will note these are mechanical details. The art does not lie herein. The one item of least import is what you call the time of day. This is important in those experiential nexi wherein the entities search for the metaphysical experience without conscious control over the search. The repetition of workings gives this search structure. In this particular group the structure is available without the need for inevitable sameness of times of working. We may note that this regularity is always helpful. Question 71.19 Questioner, you stated in a previous session that Ra searched for some time to find a group such as this one. I would assume that this search was for the purpose of communicating the law of one. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is partially correct. We also, as we have said, wish to attempt to make reparation for distortions of this law set in motion by our naive actions of your past. Question 71.20 Questioner, can you tell me if we have covered the necessary material at this point to, if published, make the necessary reparations for the naive actions? Answer, I am Ra. We mean no disrespect for your service, but we do not expect to make full reparations for these distortions. We may, however, offer our thoughts in the attempt. The attempt is far more important to us than the completeness of the result. The nature of your language is such that what is distorted cannot, to our knowledge, be fully undistorted but only illuminated somewhat. Question 71.21 Questioner, when you say you searched for this group what do you mean? What was your process of search? I ask this question to understand more the illusion of time and space. Answer, I am Ra. Consider the process of one who sees the spectrograph of some complex of elements. It is a complex paint sample, let us say for ease of description. We have Ra knew the needed elements for communication which had any chance of enduring. We compared our color chip to many individuals and groups over a long span of your time. Your spectrograph matches our sample. In response to your desire to see the relationship betwixt space-time and time-space, may we say that we conducted this search in time-space, for in this illusion one may quite readily see entities as vibratory complexes and groups as harmonics within vibratory complexes. Question 71.22 Questioner, I see the most important aspect of this communication as being a vehicle of partial enlightenment for those incarnate now who have become aware of their part in their own evolutionary process. Am I correct in this assumption? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct. We may note that this is the goal of all artifacts and experiences which entities may come into contact with and is not only the property of Ra or this contact. We find that this instrument has neglected to continue to remind itself of the need for holding some portion of energy back for reserve. This is recommended as a portion of the inner program to be reinstated as it will lengthen the number of workings we may have. This is acceptable to us. The transferred energy grows quite, quite low. We must leave you shortly. Is there a brief query at this time? Question 71.23 Questioner is there anything that we can do to improve the contact or to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. You are conscientious. Remain most fastidious about the alignments of the appurtenances. We thank you. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and in the glorious light of the infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.